Now, these dogs seem to be getting more intense. That's why I was watching them, and the owners could care less how they behave. So I'm going to show you something here. It's a little different than what you've seen me do before. Now, let me slow this video down and really talk about it. It's a little different than I handle other situations. There are two dogs. There are a pack of dogs. Also, those dogs had been there for a while, observing us with a little bit of barking here and there. So they're not aggressive. They're not going to just charge in and attack Socrates. I never would put him in that danger and have him on a long leash if I felt like that around those dogs in the first place. So that is why I didn't need to grab Socks up really quickly and put him behind me. I was able to handle the situation more calmly. Also, this right here, stomping, yelling at the dogs to get back. So you can see right there. See, it made him go to the side instead of pursuing us forward. So hopefully you saw that difference. The dog was coming at us. The stomping made him move to the side rather than forward, okay? So that's an improvement, but it didn't chase them away. Now, normally I would just keep going and then block till the dog ran off. There are two, you can't do that. You can only make a little bit of a stand and then you need to freeze and hold your ground with multiple dogs. Because if you go towards one, the other one will come around and flank you. It will make one dog move forward if you focus energy, not energy, if you focus movement towards just one of the dogs, the other one will flank you. Now, he did a pretty good job, but then he got a little curious. Talk about Socrates, my dog. See, he's getting a little curious, moving forward. So I do look at him and I tell him no, and I tap e-collar, then I put my direction, there's the no. Then I put my direction, I focus back on these two white dogs. Now again, I hope it's clear to you guys, these dogs are bullies. They're ill-behaved, I know, and they're being territorial, but they are not aggressive, okay? So that is why I'm also able to keep socks on a long line. Once I felt like I had a good handle on the situation, I walked over and stepped on Sox's long line for safety to make sure Sox didn't chase after them as they were bouncing around or starting to move away. So at this point, I'm feeling very in control of the situation. I'm feeling pretty safe that, you know, we can manage this without any issues, you know, without any fallout. And that's, that's important to note because if I felt unsafe, I would have been quicker to grab socks, put him behind me, and I would have really just stood there and continued to try to advocate for my dog, keeping these dogs as much as a at a distance as possible. I will absolutely be physical with a dog that is aggressive or so intensely coming at me. Um, I will be physical. But with these dogs, even if they had pursued us, I, I would have just needed to block them. Like they, they weren't interested in trying to demand to get in Socrates' space or attack him. Like it was clear that that wasn't gonna happen. So they are finally moving away. So at this point, I draw Socks back into me. We're not done yet though. You can see them turning and coming back. They're just being really playful with each other. You know, they're having a blast, these white dogs being in complete control. But anyway, I call Socrates back to me and I get him behind me this time to deal with potentially another interaction. It's also really important to notice that I am not gonna turn my back on these dogs again until they have fully disengaged from this situation. And I'm not gonna pursue them because they're too, like they feel powerful together. So if I try to stomp at them again, they're pro it's probably just gonna provoke them. So I just stand my ground 
nice and calm, let them get bored and move away. Because that's what it looked like to me, that they would get bored and eventually go back. And that is what happened. So why am I going through all of this? Well, I get questions about it all the time. And you really have to read the situation the moment you're in it, you know, and and it was obvious that these dogs weren't aggressive when we started working. So I wasn't, you know, worried about that. But I have absolutely had crazy, intense, friendly, that I think that are friendly retrievers charge at a dog and they're so hyper-focused on demanding to jump on my dog that they don't even notice that I stomp and yell at them. They're just trying to just go right through me. And if that's the case, I will block a dog. And if that's not enough because they're running so intensely at me, then I will be physical with a dog. I will advocate and protect my dog just like I would my kids. But I do want everybody to read the situation. If you're not being charged at and if, if, you're, if you're not being charged at, you need to kind of take a breath and step back. You probably just need to stomp at the dog. And that's enough, 98, 99% of the dog. Stomp, go home. No, go home. And you have your dog kind of behind you. That, that is enough most of the time. And then the rest of the time, you do that. And then you might end up also needing to do some blocking. Just blocking the dog and keeping your dog behind you, firmly blocking. And then there's a small percentage of time where you need to be ready to be quite physical with a dog. Where I live in the city and right outside of the city, dogs are outside of their homes regularly and they are rarely friendly, to be perfectly honest. So I need my clients to know how to handle these situations, not just at a park setting like this, but just walking down your block in the neighborhood. And we have clients that carry certain things that make them feel more comfortable. um, And then they also just need to know how to handle it from a physical standpoint, not to push too hard, but not to be too passive either. It's a challenging thing, but with everybody owning dogs these days, it's an important skill to learn because our reality is now either training gets set way, way back or dogs are getting bit on the walk and worse, even killed.